Hello and welcome to another Game Guru tutorial and this is going to be a quite a quick one again uh, it's basically to show you how you can add your own images um, into and text even possibly if you wanted to into your standalone games so if I just quickly make something really quick doesn't have to be anything special at all boom, boom, boom. a couple of barrels um, a player and do it quick enough they're done uh, and that'll do that will do me fine. We'll just test it runs. Which should do. And that should make a standalone. Okay, it's fine. Got some barrels. Can't do nothing with them, but we're there. So if I build a standalone of that. Oh, actually I better save it as a name. I'll save as hmm, um, Image test. There we go. That'll do. Image test. Right. So we'll build a standalone of that. It may take a little while. Even though it's really basic, it's still got a lot of files to copy across. Or a fair few. Okay, doke. Right. Okay. Got it saved. So now. Um, I need to find the games. So we've got image test in here. And if you find it for run it, it's going to have the images set up for my last competition entry, Subterranean Secret, which is still going. Uh, if you want to go and vote for it, I'm not going to say no to that because I've hardly got any votes yet. I don't know. I don't know. It's a bit strange. And I thought there'd be more people on that site than that. But hey ho. So there you go. There's a an image there of the subterranean secret game that I did although this isn't that game it's the one I've just made because that's I've just left it set up to use all those images so it's got all the images I made but it's my game as you will know there you go there's the loading screen you may have seen this if you watch the uh, subterranean secret video I may do a new one of that showing you you know more of it but I did a, an initial video just obviously to, to get people to have to have a go because I don't want to show everyone all the game so they might not be bothered about playing it anyway uh, da, 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 da. right okay we're in and yeah there's some barrels so, so, but all the images are there I haven't changed the text but again it's just the same it's, it's all this text is is graphics so um, let's exit I've proved fully that it will work and let's show you how to do it. Right, so that's a game I've made and it's automatically put those images in without me doing anything. So let me show you how you set it up for your own. So this is the Game Guru folder. So you can get to it via opening Steam up and you know finding the local files and whatnot. But basically it's in Steam apps, common Game Guru files. And that's everything you've got your entity banks and your script banks and you're going to be in this a lot when you're doing your games especially if you're doing anything more custom um, so what you want is the titles bank so go into that and you'll see i've got a director there called subterranean secrets i'm going to call the escape which is for the escape game and you've got default you look in default you've got all this lot so if you want to change your images all you have to do is technically go in here and change these images and you've got to change each one for each resolution so you, you know something like style gear I've, I've not used it but I've heard of it probably does that automatically you put one picture in it will just put all the rest for you but I was I did it manually <laughs> and I nearly always and I probably would do it manually again um, so if I go to my subterranean secret one you'll say it's the same I haven't got the the text there anymore um, because it doesn't it doesn't actually pick up these those images. Pretty certain if you copy them across into your into a folder of your own, they, they, it just doesn't use them. So I, I didn't even bother trying to do that to be honest. But if you change them here, you will that will work. But obviously you want to make a backup of them first, as you're going to be have your text permanently in there. But yeah, so. That's the one I've made, and I've got my pictures of all resolutions, which obviously in the files, that's 1920 by 1200 res, 1920 by 1080, blah, 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 all the way down. Um, 
and you've literally got to change your image sizes to match that so that's going to be 1280 by 800 and then you go to that one and it's going to be 1920 by 1200 all the way through it's it's a rather slow and gloomy task like I say style UI style guru is it I think it's style guru that will probably make that a lot easier but it is just as simple as that now you obviously that's the default and I've got subterranean secret here now to get it to use this or this or, or the default even you got to style and change the name in there so if you want it default you just change that there and just change it change it to default or the escape and it'll change the uh, the images to match when you make a new standalone so as you can see it sets subterranean secret as, as default at the moment in style so the game I just made if I can find it there obviously uses those images uh, subterranean secret and they're all in there so that's pretty much it I can't think of anything else that really uh, is needed um, no, that's pretty much it if you've got any questions let me know and I'll, um, I'll either do another video to uh, update it or just answer in the comments but I think that's pretty much it you can now add your own graphics to the start of your game and you're loading the game and everything like that no problem no problem at all. So, until next time, I'll catch you later.